So on today's episode of the Title Minute, we're going to go into a little bit more detail on the law that was passed in September, Senate Bill 10. Now, the, this law, Senate Bill 10, does not go into effect until January 1st, 2022. Now, our first video on these legislative changes just gave an overview on Senate Bill 8, Senate Bill 9, and Senate Bill 10. Be sure to check out that video and last week's video where we went into detail on Senate Bill 9 or the HOME Act. Now, SB 10 allows local agencies to adopt an ordinance to allow dwelling units to be built up to 10 units per parcel. Now, these dwelling units have to be built to a height specified within the, each ordinance, and the parcel itself has to be located in a transit-rich or an urban infill area. Now, it's our understanding that each local agency has to declare that the ordinance they choose to adopt is pursuant to Senate Bill 10, meaning it falls in line with the rules and restrictions that are outlined in SB 10. Now, in addition to the 10 dwelling units per parcel, SB 10 allows for two additional ADUs or accessory dwelling units to be built on that parcel and not count towards the 10 dwelling units. For a parcel to be designated as an urban infill location, there's four different criteria that they have to make. Be sure to download our fast fact flyer for more information on that. Now, there are several limitations of SB 10. Now, the first limitation is where the parcels are located. Parcels located in high fire severity areas would not qualify for SB 10. They also cannot qualify if they are parcels that are located in open space or parks and recreational land as approved for by the voters. Parcels can't be further divided into smaller projects in order to circumvent the 10 dwelling unit maximum, meaning you can't have one parcel that would have 10 units, divide it in half, and then be able to build two 10 unit projects on that one parcel. So no further division of the parcels. Now, Senate Bill 10 authorizes this act until January 1st, 2029. This video was just a short overview of the detailed information that is in SB 9. So be sure to check with your local agencies and download our detailed fast fact flyer on Senate Bill 10 located in the link below. Thanks for tuning in.